Okay, um, so if you go to, uh, if you come to the club and practice or play, please do spend a good amount of time working on these three drills. Okay, for start just one backhand, forehand, and uh, also blocking, and then forehand to backhand, backhand to forehand, forehand to backhand. So four shots. And then push short, and then forehand loop, or backhand loop, and then forehand, and then close of a footwork. Okay, just spend a lot of time. Uh, these are quite practical uh, sequence that will happen during the game. So keep on, uh, continue to practice this. In the meantime, uh, I'll start to introduce about the importance of push. Okay, importance of push. Push is, uh, you can think it's a defensive shot, but it depends on how you do it, right? And mostly, each shot is a setup for the next shot. Okay, what that means is this. If you're putting it short with less spin or weak underspin, that's giving the opponent a chance to flick. That means you're kind of setting it up for them to do the uh, short attack. Then you should be back up and ready to counter that. So if you give short forehand push short here, then after that, you should be a little bit ready to watch that forehand flick. If they cannot do it, you don't even need to worry about this. You just need to get ready for the, uh, your loop. So it depends on your opponent. If they know how to flick, you have to come back and prepare. If they don't know how to flick, most cases, the players you will face right now wouldn't be able to do a, a nice job on the flick. Therefore, after you put it short, then you can just wait here and then uh, loop, or if you put it sh short, then you can push uh, short again, put it short again. So what I mean is, your push needs to have intention. So depending on where you push and how you push, will give you a good setup or bad setup. Okay, obviously, if you're giving them chance to attack, you're putting in, uh, yourself in a disadvantage, right? Because you don't know where they're gonna attack, how much topspin, uh, how, how fast. We don't know that until they play the shot, okay? So, uh, there are a few spots when you push, you have to work on it, okay? One, when you put it short, never put it to their backhand side, okay? One, they don't need, they don't need to work to return your backhand, uh, backhand short. They just put, come in, reachable. It's easy to return, okay? But what's further is the forehand side. So if they're serving short, you should try to just drop it back to sh uh, short forehand. Why? Because nobody has forehand flick now. That means what? They have to move in. Not only they have to move in, and when they're moving, that means their balance is not good. Therefore, their push is not going to be good quality because they, they have to move so much and then they have to make a decent shot. Okay? The next shot, probably the ball will... They, they're not going to like try to push it long. Probably when they touch it, the ball is going to come like high but like that. So all you need to do is like after the push, yeah, you just little bit stay close and then play on top of the table and control the direction. That's all you need to do. Uh, the next spot that you always want to push when the serve is medium or short, it's okay. But short, you should try to always keep it short, not long. Medium and long, and you're not feeling good about looping this shot because you don't know if the ball is going to come out or not, then we need to push. Then when you decide to push, push long to their backhand side deep with a lot of underspin. That will uh, give your opponent difficulties. But if you're pushing it, and your push is like this, they will kill it, obvious. But if you chop it, actually it's hard to loop because if they uh, try to loop, most time if your push is good, then the ball goes to the net, okay? The last part that you want to test is the forehand side. Don't limit your push to just here and there, okay? 
exper experiment all these three spots. One here, one here, and one here. Surprisingly, because people tend to stay on the backhand a lot, they leave uh, the forehand side empty. And it's not actually easy to do that shot. It's like a surprise because they're like kind of doing this. Okay, but one thing that you have to uh, remember is if you want to push here, you have to see their position. Okay, you don't want to push there when they're here. Okay, you have to push there when they're like this. Right, you have to little bit force them and if, see if they like to pivot. If they like to pivot, pushing over there can uh, break their balance. So all they can do is, not, not a power shot, but they will probably use spin shot. Then you can start the forehand fight. Or just block one back to their backhand side. Their, their balance is like this, they cannot do anything. Then they put it up and then they finish. Now, so how do we do that? How do we give a deep, strong backspin and short underspin? Okay?